All right, let's start it out at 1080p, and we are on the RX 6600. We're gonna start out at low settings, and I chose a very demanding uh, area in the game. So many locations will get you better performance than this, but I'd rather show you kind of a worst case scenario, which for me seems to be kind of in the middle of the city in a fairly crowded environment. And you can see here that at low settings, I mean, the game still looks fine. Obviously, it'll look better with higher settings, but we are well over 100 frames per second. Looks like the average in my little stroll down the sidewalk run here is coming in at about 111 frames per second. All right, let's go ahead and jump to medium settings, which I think do look significantly better than low. Um, give the lighting there a second to process. <laughs> All right, and now it looks like we're in the mid 80s. Let's go around the block a couple of times just to make sure that stays pretty consistent. And that does appear to be the case. It looks like we are in the mid 80s. Looks like we can even push up into the 90s every now and then. Obviously, it depends on what's on the scene. And like I said, this is one of the more demanding locations in the game. All right, looks good. Let's push on to the high settings. Give that a second to process, reset the averages, and here we go. Looks like we're in the mid 60s at 1080p high settings, which is fantastic. Honestly, the ultra settings in this game, we'll try them out here, but they do add a, a much higher demand without getting you a whole lot, in my opinion, on the visual upgrade. So I think the high settings really are one of the best ways to play the game. And it looks like we're averaging well into the 60s, and like I said, in one of the more demanding scenes in the game. All right, moving on up to Ultra. Resetting my averages. Okay, it's looking like we are in more like the mid 50s now. And the mid-50s are certainly playable, especially at variable refresh rate. It honestly doesn't feel that different from 60. Um, if you don't have variable refresh rate, that's where it could make a little more of a difference if you're trying to lock 60 uh, or something like that. But hey, it looks like we're in the mid-50s doing just fine, absolutely playable at ultra settings, although personally, I'd probably go with high. Now, let's go ahead and try out some ray tracing, which I don't think is going to be worth it, <laughs> but let's just see what happens. So ray tracing medium, I believe that keeps everything at ultra and then kicks on the ray traced shadows and sets some of the lighting to ray traced um, medium. This will take a second to process here. Okay, yeah, we drop down into the 20s. Oof, doesn't feel good. So yeah, as expected, I would not recommend ray tracing in this game on the RX 6600. And we'll be putting this up against the GTX 1060, which doesn't even have the option to ray trace, even if you did want to take the performance hit. So I think that's just fine. Okay, so we are on the GTX 1060, and we're at 1080p, and currently on the low preset. And what is that getting us? Well, in this scene I have selected, which is pretty demanding scene, we are in the mid 50s. Now, that's certainly playable. You can certainly play this game at the mid 50s. Um, I'm a little disappointed that low settings weren't at least a locked 60, although I will say that this is, again, a demanding scene that I've chosen. In other scenes of the game, we would certainly be doing better. Let's jump up to medium settings, because I do feel like there is a pretty large jump from low to medium in terms of the way the game actually looks. Medium is usually as low as I'd personally like to go, although frame rate, rate wise here, it's looking like we might start to have some issues. We're down into the mid 40s. True. That's certainly playable, but it's, you know, not ideal. Kicking up the settings, we are going to, of course, run into some more issues, but let's see 
just how bad it gets as we go to high and ultra. Do we stay playable? So, moving up to high. Giving it a second to process. Okay. Now, it still doesn't seem to be a VRAM issue because our usage there is only about four and a half gigabytes. You can see in the top left. But our frame rate's in the 30s now. Now, you could certainly play this game in the 30s. You could even do a capped frame rate so it feels steady and maybe using a controller it wouldn't be too bad um, but I probably would have stayed at lower medium just for the smoothness however you know here you go it is still at least playable you know console like experience I suppose and now we'll go ultra at 1080p and that's looking like we are right at 30 frames per second. Ooh, dipping a bit below. Does not feel good, guys. So I would say Ultra is off the table here. High was at least usable if you're okay with a 30 frames per second target. And we could get pretty close to a 60 frame per uh, frames per second target. At, um, at the low settings. I'm gonna test this out at 1440p just out of curiosity. All right, testing out at 1440p now on the 6600. We're at low settings and let's take a look. Well, looks like we're in the mid 70s. We'll do our couple of laps around the block just to be sure. But yeah, it is looking like if you wanna play on low, you can at least get very solid frame rates here up into the mid 70s. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at medium because really the lighting and everything I, I really feel looks much, much better at medium. Give it a second to process. <laughs> okay, at medium, it's looking like we are in the 50s, not the 60s, but it's it's the upper 50s. You could, I'm sure, tweak a couple of things, um, do a minor overclock if you really just have to hit that exact 60. And remember that this scene is specifically chosen to be particularly demanding. Much of the game will do better than that. So it looks like we're in the mid 50s, completely playable at 1440p medium, although maybe not ideal. Jumping up to the high preset, it's looking like we are down into the 40s. Yeah, right at 40, not even like the mid 40s. We see some dips down to 39, 38. Okay, so yeah, 1440p high. Well, again, this could be Playable. It's not like you can't play it at these settings. I'd probably stick to low or medium or some combination in between if we were going to do it. And going up to ultra settings, which really I don't think make a lot of sense here, we do drop into the 30s, although it does look like we do stay over 30. So if you're the kind of person who's okay with capping the frame rate to 30, maybe playing with a controller or something to kind of smooth out the movement, <laughs> then maybe this is for you, but would not be for me. But hey, at least the game is playable at some settings at 1440p. Okay, so we're at 1440p on the GTX 1060, and we're starting out at the low preset. Looks like it's having to load in the lighting and stuff there. Okay, well, it's looking like at the 1080p low preset, not 1080p, geez, 1440p, 10, uh, <laughs> 1440p low preset, I can talk. We are in the mid 30s. So, you could play this game at 1440p on low, which, in my opinion, has a pretty big hit on the lighting and, like, do the people even have shadows? <laughs> um,. So yeah, low takes a pretty big hit. It is playable if you're okay with that 30 frames per second target. Medium, I feel, looks a lot better, but let's see if it's usable at all. 
Give it a minute for that lighting to process. Okay. Well. Yeah, it's a bit rough. <laughs> We're down into the 20s. Close to 30. But yeah, it's kind of looking like a stick to 1080p kind of a game to me. On the trusty old 1060. So yeah, I'm thinking if, if Cyberpunk's on your list, um, upgrading the 1060 might be in the cards. Ooh, high is just kind of unusable here. 20 frames per second slideshow experience. <laughs> Let's go ahead and switch on to Ultra. Just for fun. How bad could it be? Okay, well apparently it could be pretty bad. <laughs> we are down into the teens. Well, there you have it. I think if uh, Cyberpunk's your target, an upgrade could be worth it, and the 6600 might be your cheapest new GPU out there, depending on the market. It fluctuates a lot these days. Hope all of you have an excellent day.